a very good morning to all today we'll see a short video on the growth of vocabulary and word formation one of the most striking things that we noticed when we compare old english with modern english is the tremendous growth of vocabulary english vocab is very rich and resourceful and new words have been added to it from anglo saxon period as a community changes there is constant demand for new words to express say new concepts or new attitudes to denote new objects or new institutions and so on during the past few centuries the change has been particularly great and society has become increasingly complex and the growth of vocab has been correspondingly great so there are several ways in which the vocab of a language can be enlarged today we'll be seeing which are such methods composition derivation affixation shortening telescoping blends of portmanteau words syncopation meta analysis and back formation these are the major uh, methods by which vocabulary grows and we will see each of them in detail in this video so the first method is composition or compounding or compound word formation composition is joining together of existing words in such a way as to form a compound word the compound words can be formed by joining together different parts of speech for example a noun and a noun can join together to form a new word that is housekeeper or sunflower or girlfriend or football in such words a noun and a noun has come together to form a new word or uh, say for example an adjective and a noun can come together to form a new word like in superhuman grandfather waterproof etc a noun and a verb can together form a new word as in proofread side step etc an adjective and an adjective together can form a new word that is dark blue red hot lukewarm etc in such words an adjective and an adjective is <coughs> coming together to form new words or verb and noun can come together like in pick pocket or dare devil or adjective and verb can come together as in white wash or shortcut so these are the first uh, ways by which words can be formed that is joining together of existing words both words have a meaning the these words have already been there in english literature english language and so they come together just to form a new word that is composition or compounding next comes derivation or affixation which is rather simple it is the addition of prefixes or suffixes to words or word roots adding the suffix ship to the word friend it becomes friendship or ness to good becomes goodness or uh, such words unable uh, if you add the word un before able that is if you add it as a prefix to able then it becomes unable or unfit or unkind such words then suffix stand added to with becomes withstand um such words are examples of derivation wherein some prefix or suffix is added to the existing word to form a new word next is root creation root creation is the transfer of a word from one grammatical category to another that is from noun to verb or from adjective to noun that is using one part of speech for another in a functional shift the original word remains the same but it is used for a different grammatical function 
Okay, let us take the example of the word feature. In the sentence, she has sharp features. Feature is a noun. In the sentence, she featured a film. Feature becomes a verb. And in the sentence, it was a feature film. The sentence, uh, the word feature is an adjective. So, it is the tra transfer of a word from one grammatical category to another. Like feature changing from noun to verb or adjective in as and when needed in different sentences. So, that is root creation. Now, shortening or clipping is another form of word formation. And uh, several long words of foreign origin are clipped to form new words. And many of them have become so firmly established that the full words have been completely passed into oblivion. For example, the word mobile, vulgus, has been clipped to form the word mob and mob is more uh, popular and people rarely use the word mobile vulgus nowadays. And pantaloon has given way to pants. You don't use the word pantaloon nowadays or uh, uh, zoo for zoological gardens or uh, extra for extraordinary or a pub for a public house, photo for a photograph, lab for a laboratory. Such words, the... Uh, Bigger word have been clipped to form a new word and the new word has been so frequently used and established in English language. Next method is telescoping. Telescoping is another process by which the vocabulary has been enlarged and what happens here is two words are combined into one so as to produce a new word. For example, to dawn is telescoped from to do on or to put on. So, in such cases, uh, what happens is two words come together to form a new word. Maybe uh, because of the pronunciation or faster pronunciation makes such words happen. Now comes blends or portmanteau words. Portmanteau words is a process of word making currently in vogue when part of one word is combined with part of another word in order to form a new word carrying with it the meaning of both the words together uh, then we get a portmanteau word that is uh, one part of a word is combined with another part of another word and a new word is formed for example the word mortal in the word mortal is a combination of motorist and hotel or uh, Smog comes from smoke and fog. So, such words combine together, parts of such uh, separate words combine together to form a new word. It, that happens in blends or portmanteau words. Syncopation is a type of word formation uh, in which a vowel is elided and the consonants on other, either side of it are brought together with the result that one syllable is lost. So, in perambulator, the vowel E is dropped off so that the two uh, consonant sounds P and R comes together and a new word perambulator is formed. But then uh, perambulator also is not used nowadays. Perambulator is clipped or shortened to form pram. So, that is how words form. Or word, new words uh, come into usage uh, in English language. So, the word was actually perambulator but then now it has come to pram. The E, E is a vowel, E is dropped so that both the consonant sounds P and R comes together. Perambulator becomes the new word and perambulator is clipped or shortened which was another uh, word formation technique which we discussed already. And the new word pram comes into existence. Next comes meta-analysis or re-analysis or different analysis. This uh, method is sometimes uh, closely related and confused with telescoping and uh, is caused by careless pronunciation of words in rapid speech. 
Okay, as the word indicates here, we have the reanalysis or different analysis or sounds in an expression. In this um, linguistic process, the consonant at the end of one word gets attached to the vowel at the beginning of the next word, giving rise to a new word. Okay, uh, it happens uh, uh, to uh, give an example would be difficult because uh, it happens uh, due to rapid conversation. Uh, for example, an orange, an orange, if you... Uh, pronounce it rapidly uh, if you uh, pronounce it in a care careless way you can see that an orange is carelessly pronounced as a an orange an orange so that is meta-analysis or reanalysis or different analysis and a uh, different uh, example would be an apron when rapidly pronounced becomes an apron a apron Okay, so that is meta-analysis or reanalysis or different analysis. Now comes the last one that is back formation. Back formation is a process in which a new word is derived from an already existing word due to some misunderstanding about its grammatical etymology. In this process, a word is mistaken to be a derivative and analyzed to separate its supposed base which becomes the new back-formed word. For example, uh, there are many back formations which remain colloquial or slangy in English language. That is to enthuse is mistakenly, mistakenly back-formed from enthusiasm or to audit from auditor or uh, um, to henpeck from henpecked or to donate from donation and the like. So that was a short video on word formation. We discussed the different uh, methods by which word, words uh, form in English language. So uh, hope you had a brief idea about the same. So thank you.